Now these are the, the bolts and screws I was telling y'all about right there. One, two, three, four, and five. What's up guys, it's your boy Deuce, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Now this video y'all seen by the title, we're gonna be trying to fix my gauge cluster. Now I just watched a video on how to fix the cluster and I hope I can do this right. Being honest, I don't know if I am gonna do it right, but it don't hurt to try. So we finna try and fix my cluster because as y'all can see, if I turn it on, my RPM works, but it don't read it right. My miles per hour hand don't work my fuel hand don't, it say a fuel full tank it might be a full tank in this car but i don't know my battery volts don't work bring y'all around here yeah my battery volts don't work my oil don't work and my temp don't work like i said it might be might be a full tank of gas in this car but i don't know but none of, none of my gauges work and like i said i just watched a video on how to fix the cluster I already know how to pull it out it's literally just one screw two screws three screws four screws get these off that one and that one i think it's like two more screws up here but yeah it's just screws to get them off so it's not hard to get these off and it should be pretty quick and easy and straightforward but yeah like i said i need to get this cluster fixed because i need to know how much gas is in this car i don't care about knowing how fast i'm going it's not, it's not gonna bother me. I just need to know how much gas in this car because I don't want to run out of gas and be stuck on the road because I just didn't know how much gas was in it. And I don't want to have to keep putting gas in the car every day because I'm not gonna be driving this car every day. But every time I get it, I don't want to have to put gas in it just so I know gas is in the car. So that's something we're gonna get ready to fix. So like I said, I gotta get this stuff off and we're gonna pull the cluster out. Shouldn't be hard. Like I said, I just watched a video on how to fix it. They said the little copper film is real thin. I said you, it might be corrosion on it, so wipe it off and then put the bolt back on there. Like I said, we finna find out together and see if everything works. Hopefully, I can get this to work and get this to go right. But first, I'm gonna check my fuse to see if it's the fuse that's blown. So, yeah, let's get into this video. Y'all like this video for me? Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn that post notification bell to all. That way, y'all be notified every time I drop. And yeah, let's get into this video. I'm gonna grab the tools that I think I'm gonna need and let's rock out. All right, guys. So first, I told you I want to check the fuse. Now, on your fuse box, is it usually will tell you? Hold on, let me take y'all off this tripod. It will tell you which one is for your gauges. And I don't know if y'all can see it good, but my gauges is this red tin right there. That's upside the upside down tin right here that's mine so i'm gonna go ahead and try to pull it real quick this one and check and see if it's blown which it can't be blown because my my gauge one gauge do work so y'all can see it's not blown so i can go ahead and put this one back in all right got that back in so that was the first step now now we can go ahead and get into taking off this dash and put y'all back on the tripod so like i said it's just four screws once you get them bottom four screws off you gotta pull all right sit y'all there yeah, I'll pull these trim pieces out. So let's go ahead and get to work now. My bolt is a seven millimeter. I don't know if y'all's are the same, but like I said, my car is all original. So if y'all's is all original as well, and y'all didn't change these screws, it should be seven millimeters. And y'all know how I like to stay organized. So I'm gonna try and keep everything together. Cause I like to, like I said, keep everything organized cause I don't want to lose nothing. Ooh, I 
almost lost one one out just like that get this side out it should be pretty quick I hopefully it don't be too long because all I gotta do is clear off or clean off the bolts that's on the back of the cluster which I will show y'all once we get this cluster out and I, I pray this work because I really need to know how much gas is in this car while I'm driving it longer seven and I do I to use the short one for these ones that's above the radio stereo and then use the longer one for this side because that short one was hard for me to get this stuff going all right and then I got my trim popper so I can try to pop now this part you got to be really careful if you don't want to break so you don't break none of this stuff you can really almost use your hand but man uh, this is little scary because like I said I don't want to break it all right got one out all right got my top two three all right got it without breaking nothing too perfect that's how you do that one and like I said it's, it's one on this side right here so let me get my smaller one back get my smaller seven back out and then get this one out if I can get used this seven. All right, yeah, so I can just get this out. Really, you can get them out with your hand. You don't even need a ratchet. Well, mine, not anyways. A little easier to get out. That's that part and then that part. All right, now, here go the hard part, getting this one out without breaking it. You gotta be really careful, bro. Cause for one, I don't, I don't want to waste more money on getting these. All right, got that half. And I'm gonna try and fix this fan part too while I got it out. Got it. And don't worry, I didn't break it. This already was like this. So I gotta, I, I wanna try to fix it while I got it out and see what I could put on here to make it stay. So that's something I'm gonna figure out in a minute. But yeah, that's all you do. So you just gotta pop them off and then you use, you get these two, it's two sevens on this side. And like I said, you can really use your hand. I don't even need the ratchet anymore to get this. See, not even using the ratchet. They just some screws, bro. It's not hard to get these out. Just like that. Now this can come on out. 
See what I'm saying? Got the whole thing off. Now, the cluster. Hold on. The cluster, it got, it looked like it has eight screws, but one of them is holding this glass part to the actual cluster. So you're going to get the ones that's like on this white tab. So it's one, two, three, four. So let me grab the right size socket and get those off. Then I'm going to come back to y'all and we're going to try and get this fixed. All right, y'all. So I got it off. I didn't get it all the way out because for one, I don't want to, I didn't want to take off this bolt that's holding this one on as y'all see it right there. But to get, if y'all trying to get y'all cluster off, you got to get behind your, like while it's turned around, you got to just push this tab up. You see, just push that tab up to get this is one line right there get that line off now these are the the bolts and screws i was telling you about right there one two three four and five so we gotta try and get these off well not even try just get them off and then i'm gonna wipe behind it on this as y'all see that brown film which is the copper film so we're gonna try and get that and hopefully that works and then i'm gonna some of these bulbs i'm gonna change because some of them are blown because this blinker don't be coming on. This one do. So some of them we're going to change. I got like a couple extra bolts. And I'm going to try these. See if they fit in there. All that good stuff. So yeah. we finna, Like I said. We're going to try and see what we can really do. So I'm going to grab my extra bolts. Right here. And we're going to change some of these bulbs out. So it'll be brighter. Like this one, like I said, this was one of my blinkers. It's shot. So, hope I'm putting this in the right way. You know what, the blinker one, I'm going to just use this one. I hope this one ain't messed up because it's wet. I think it'll be alright. Alright, so the blinker one, we're going to put it back in. I think this one is good. Yep. Like I said, a lot of these I'm not gonna change. Some of them I just want to be bright. Tur. This one is burnt, so no go. That's a no go. So all my trash I'm gonna put in this bag here. Throw this one up in there. This one broke. That's a no go. Throw that one up in there. What could I change? This one shot. Get that going. I got a whole bunch of these little LEDs. I could change the color of it too. I can make it blue if I want it blue, but I really don't want it blue. I'm gonna just keep it white. Just like that. Did that one. This one don't look right. So I'm gonna leave it alone. And them lights I'm not gonna touch, but these copper films. Y'all are a little far, my bad, y'all. So, it's gonna be a little bit of these copper films that we finna, or these copper, yeah, behind these copper. So, I just got some paper towels. I don't, I don't wanna sand it down because I don't wanna mess nothing up even more. So, I'm just gonna remove some of these. Wipe them off a little bit with my paper towel and then set it on the side. Remove it. Wipe it off with the paper towel so to get a little bit better connection. And then set it to the side. Just keep repeating it. Now hopefully this work is not this was a fail. Then I'm gonna have to go ahead and try to give me another cluster. But like I said, I didn't want to get another cluster because mine shows my original mouse on this car. So I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to get another cluster. I could just get a fuel uh, a fuel gauge from like AutoZone, but they want $40 for just a fuel gauge. I mean, I, I guess 
it's a reasonable price. Try to wipe off as best as I can around here. And then tighten them down. You don't want to go too tight because you don't want to rip the, the film around it. This bulb shot don't look like it. But I can change it out anyway, so why not? Keep that ball. Alright, let's put everything back on and then tighten it down. And I'm praying, guys, I'm praying this works. I'm hoping this works. And like I said, you don't want to tighten it too tight because you don't want to rip the film. Rip that copper film, you feel me? Because if so, then you're going to get a whole either get try to find the copper film for the gauge or get a whole new cluster. they're all tight all right let's see if this will work all right now I gotta see so I can put this thing back on hold on y'all I might finna I might have to block it out Ooh. Y'all seen a oof, a big oof. I might have to block y'all for a second, just one second. Let me try and get this back in there, then I'm gonna come back to y'all again. All right, y'all, so I got it in. Got it back in, so let's see if it work. Okay, I fixed it. Well, I fixed two of them. It's still not showing my oil or my temp. But my RPM is working. It looks like my gas hand is working now. So maybe I'll go to the gas station and get some gas because I'm, I'm almost on E, y'all. You feel me? Look. And I can't see if my lights are working or not, but I got it back in there and it is. As y'all can see, got the hands that I needed to work, which is my battery and my gas hand. And my RPM is working. Y'all see it'll drop down. Got my lights on. Okay, so I think I fixed it. Because my gas hand was, as y'all seen, all the way on full. And I knew it wasn't on full. And then it dropped down. And it's on E. So I need to go get some gas for real. But, as y'all can see, I got it fixed. So, now what I need to do is just tighten everything back on down. So... Let's get into that. So, y'all, like I said, I got the one hand that I needed to work. I don't care about the other hands. I'll get them fixed later on. 
but the one hand that I wanted to get fixed was my gas hand and I got it fixed. So that's what I needed. That's all I needed. You feel me? So my maybe I do need to get some sandpaper to scrape to get the rest of that copper right. Or maybe I just take it to like a mechanic shop and see if they can get it. But yeah, why waste money on a cluster when the only thing I wanted it I needed to read was my gas hand. It, it don't make no sense for me. Cause I like I said, I don't care about my mass per hour. And I need I do need my temp and my oil so I know if the car running hot or not. But I can I can get that figured out. I, like I said, I'm not gonna be driving this car on interstates and stuff anyways. I'm only gonna be driving this car around town and like to shops, maybe to some shows that's local. And maybe I if I wanna go to a different car show, I get it out I, I hopefully by the end I have me a truck and a trailer so I can just pull this car and or and or my box, you know, so So I'm gonna tighten these down and make sure it comes on again. Don't want to go too tight because you don't want to break anything. And then once again, make sure everything come back on. And it does. Battery volts is reading pretty good. It's not reading my oil or my temp, which is fine. But I'm. I hope it's reading my gas. Cause as of right now, saying I'm on E, I'm pretty. I might be though, cause I've been driving this car ever since I got it. And I haven't put gas in it, but yeah. Hopefully everything's reading well and reading right. Well, my gas, anyways. Like I said, the only thing I needed was my gas. So hopefully that's reading right. And we can go ahead and throw these back. And um, I've been I've read y'all comments when y'all told me don't put 87 in the cars I haven't put 87 in this car at all like even when I was working on it myself with like the fuel pump and stuff I was putting I was putting 93 in here now my box Chevy I was putting 87 and I'm gonna stop that but I'm not driving that car right now until I get a fan shroud so I'm looking for a fan shroud for that car but yeah I, I didn't put I don't put 87 in this car at all I put 93 in here and then my box, I'm going to start putting 93 as well. So, I want to say thank y'all for telling me that. Telling me quit using 87. It wasn't even about me being cheap. It's just that's what was in the car when I first got the car. That's what the, the dude I bought it from told me he was putting in it. Because I always asked, like when I bought my charge, I asked what gas they was using. So, I didn't mix and mess up the fuel you know so yeah my bad y'all could barely see all right y'all don't want to see me finish this this ain't nothing but screwing so let me finish screwing this up then yeah that's gonna be the end of the video so i'll be right back in a second all right guys so i got it finished got everything back in y'all can see nothing broke no trim broken everything's back in all screws back in and one more time yes so i'm i'm guessing my fuel hand is right i'm gonna run straight to the gas station once i leave here but yeah that's gonna be the end of this one man i hope y'all enjoyed this one my next video is something i've been ready waiting to do since i got this car back so yeah i'm ready to get into this next video so i hope y'all are ready for this next video we're gonna get straight into it after this so y'all stay tuned be sure y'all hit that like button like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new turn that post notification bell to auto y'all be notified every time i drop now if y'all got dreams and goals don't chase them because i'm telling y'all to chase them because y'all want to just at least just to say that you tried even if it don't work out just to say that you try you feel me so chase y'all dreams for me but not even for me for yourself just so you can say you try it don't have to, you don't have to achieve it 
just as long as you said that you tried and you gave it your all when you went after your dream and your goal that's one of the main things that matters you feel me so i'm going after my dream and goal which is recording videos for y'all post them on youtube showing y'all my car journey and bring y'all along with me while i'm rebuilding these cars and enjoying these cars you feel me so it's my dream and my goal and i'm doing it so as long as i'm trying that's all that really matters to me so that's gonna be the end of this one i love and appreciate y'all i'll catch y'all on the next one